question seven to do these inequalities. The first one we've got is a linear one. I'm going to add the x to both sides to get 4x, and I'm going to add the 5 to both sides to get 16, and divide both sides by 4 gives us x is less than 4. For the quadratic one, I'm going to factorise the quadratic. That gets me interesting points when x is 1 and x is 5. I'll draw a quick sketch of that quadratic here. Crosses at 1 and 5 here. Now the question says we want the bits that are below 0, so that's these bits here below 0, and that is when x is between 1 and 5. Do I want them to be equal to 1 and 5? Well, yeah, it's or equal to 0, so we'll put an or equal to here. This is this bit here. Not entirely sure what question B is asking, and certainly looking at the marks, uh, the answer in the back, I'm not quite sure. Um, the thing that's the numbers that satisfy both of these two things here then will be the x values that are bigger than or equal to 1 but less than 4. Um, how are we going to show that on a graph? I, I guess we're going to put in a, a dotted line here at 4, and these are the x values that they're talking about. But that isn't what has been shown in the answers. And without there being a y in any of this, I'm not entirely sure how I'm putting that on the here. I'd, I'd like, I could put it on a number line. A number line here with a circle at 1 filled in and an open circle at 4 here. And these are the values that we want because we want everything between 1 and 4.